Hi, welcome to the part 25 of AZ104 Certification questions If you have not yet subscribed, do so It will help you with certifications And so many people have taken benefits So this is the next question you have As your subscription So this is one subscription And you want to move 5 terabytes of data in here How many terabytes? 5 terabytes Here you have mentioned 5 terabytes of data And what are you using? You are using Azure import export service so what is this service doing it is used to securely import large amounts of data to blob storage and azure files so that means two things two things large you can import import means from outside you can get data in azure from outside you can get data in azure into what into blob storage and azure files how by sending the disk drives to azure data center okay. that is how you can do it so, so this is our question what is the destination of imported data so like we saw the imported data the destination can be block storage or azure files azure file is not mentioned as an option so block storage is our answer and if you are looking for uh, some documentation around it this is a documentation which says your potential destination depends upon two factors job type whether it is an import or an export and chosen storage service so for import jobs you see this azure block storage and azure files so these are the two supported destinations so option A, Azure Blob Storage is our answer. We got our final answer. So data lake story is uh, used for like having data lake. You have high performance analytics workloads. You are running machine learning languages, models, and etc. Business intelligence routines. Then you use data lake story. If you are using import export, that means from somewhere else, you are first getting it in. Okay, like when you are getting your ships come into the dockyards, you are importing something. For example, you are importing mobile phones from China. So they first land on your dock and then they are distributed to various centers, maybe in Punjab where there is no port, maybe in uh, some other places uh, like uh, Maharashtra and other. But then the thing is first get it first get it in blob storage and then you distribute to other services like data lake store or SQL database. SQL database is again a database. First you get it into one landing zone or a virtual machine. Why will we get the data into a virtual machine? We will first get it into the store. What is the store? The first place of the store is the dockyard. We'll first land the commodities on the dockyard, the containers on the dockyard. Similarly, here first you land it on blob storage or Azure files, and from there you plan what to do, how to process the data and get it to whether data lake store or you want it in SQL database or you want it in virtual machine. That is up to you. That is second step, not the first step. Now let us look at this next question. This is a very important question, easy one to answer. You have an Azure subscription, you have a storage storage one which has life cycle management rules what is the life cycle saying boss what is the life cycle saying the first rule says okay the moment the data comes after five days move it to the cool storage from that point five more days delete the job so what it is saying here in the question on june 1st you store a blob uh, name file one in hot access tire okay so you store it in the host hot access tire for july 1st july 1st second third fourth fifth sixth july uh, june 6th june 6th what will happen five days are complete it it will move to so i think june 1st uh it is landing and five days it will stay there and move to the so rule one says after five days if the base blobs were last modified more than days more than five days so it landed in a uh, hot access tire and then five after five days it moves to the cold storage okay and that means um i think june 6th it will move to the cool storage and then it will stay in the cool storage so probably on uh, the state of file on june 7 will be it will still continue to access in the cool access tire so please let me know if you think this is wrong you can put in your comments uh, let us look at this next question you have three storage types storage one two and three and you this is very important one is gzrs grs and zrs so what is happening is you have two things here first you have two things here you have to support life cycle management and you have to support ac archive access style so so the question is saying first here for life cycle management what will be supported all three storage just one just two just three Similarly, for archive access tire, what will be supported? Okay, so let's look at lifecycle management first. See, for lifecycle management, all of these tires that have been mentioned, like GZRS, RAZ, ZRS, ZRS, all three will be supported. Lifecycle management is supported for all of them. It is supported for what? It is supported for block and append blocks. 
block and append blobs block and append blobs okay this is what it is supported so our answer in this case will be so all three storage one two and three all three will be supported but what about archive access tiles you will have to think about archive access tile so in archive access tiles the problem is storage v2 generous and rjs and block storage it did not support like archive access tile so our answer in this case will be this one uh, just the storage two just the storage two will support it that's all so if you are not yet subscribed do so we will post many more such parts uh, keep watching these videos and which will help you prepare if you have any constructive comments please post it as a comment this brings us to the end of part 25 on, on AZ104.